Hello, everyone, and welcome to a laugh and learn about healing decks. Mm -hmm. I am thrilled to be joined by Lisa Papez. That's me. Hello. Yay. Mm -hmm. Amy, wandering, wandering mountain bardic path. I have to, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, it's like wandering about. I'm Taro Stash. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, please remember that this is for entertainment purposes only. Do not make decisions based upon what we say. Seek professional assistance. Really. Yeah. Um, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to all of our channels, which, by the way, there's so much information below in the description, mm -hmm. it will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, please, if you're not uh, already subscribed to Lisa, fix that immediately. We'll wait. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No pressure though, really. No, no, no <laughs> pressure. Just go ahead, do it. No. <laughs> and um, Lisa, I made you a moderator. Oh, excellent. I love that for me. Hammer time. Yes. No uh -huh. pressure. No pressure. So, uh -huh. um, and so thank you both for being here. How are both of you before we, uh, we say hi to people in the chat? I'm good. I'm good. I am nervous and a little high strung at the moment. <laughs> I'm great. There's, there's, okay. uh, I, I get the nervousness. I'm actually very excited because this topic came up. I think it was, was it a conversation with you, Jamie, mm -hmm. after, because there are people, um, um, people talk about healing decks and what's a healing deck for them. And they share that. And I love that. I haven't heard anybody talk about how you figure out what a healing deck is for you. Mm -hmm. mm. So... Um, and by the way, purchase responsibly, know your limits. We are here to share, not to sell. Um, I did see somebody on your community tab say, Ooh, I'll be adding things to my, my, um, wish list. I'm like, don't be doing it on our account. So Listen, but. I'm going to be adding stuff to my wish list. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because the conversation that we had, Gerald, it was kind of sort of in depth. And the first person we thought of to have the conversation with was Lisa. Yep. Um, oh. And so it was like, well, the only way you'll know if she'll do it is if we ask. <laughs> yeah. I love this kind of thing. I love these community chats. I love conversation with others, especially around practice and like what's important to us and what we get out of working with cards, because it is very easy to focus on the new shiny bright thing, but not like how we're putting that thing into, into use in our lives and actually getting benefit from it and not just I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with having just a bunch of pretty things. That's totally fine. But, like, it's it's also, I like to get into the meteor conversations about it. So, I love this kind of thing. I love it. Well, let's say hi to some of the amazing people who have joined us. Um, I want to say hello to the best lurkers, as well as lurkers. the best chatters. Um, and, by the way, uh, Madame Maru's House of Cards, Merita, has put in your uh, your channel link. So thank you. Um, Sarah is here. Hello. Um, we have Plucky Heroin. Good to see you. Zane, Tarot Token Witchery. Zane. <laughs> Do that again. It's okay. Zena, it's an old throwback. Do you remember? Oh my God. Way yeah. back when I, I I don't know which one of us did it, but yeah. Um Medium Betsy Palmer, who Betsy and Hershey were on with me about what support looks like for you when you're dealing mm. with or when you're learning to work with spirit guides and deity. What and how do you support yourself? So it's great. Kaylee is here. Hello. Um Lisa Papas is here. Oh, look oh, at I'm her. Here. I know. Time she showed up. Beth, Aspazia Rising. Hello. And by the way, I am that guy who likes to say hi to everybody in the chat because I love that. Happens. Joan B is here. Hi, Joan. And um, are you knitting or bowling? I'm doing neither right now. Hmm. But I, I do both. Um, 
and a eclectic life. Oh, she was talking to we're talking to Kaylee, who is knitting oh. the blanket. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. Pia's eclectic life is here. Good to see you. Um, and and did I say hi to Joan B already? No, I don't think so. Okay. Hi, Joan B. And we have the uh, Sarah is like and purchase responsibly. Mm -hmm. So oh yeah, here you go. And this not just in the unicorn's journey, uh, unicorn's journey tarot, three days before it goes live. Oh my god, it's so soon! I'm so nervous. I'm neurotic right now. It's terrible. <laughs> Ask my poor wife who has to put up with me. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Only three days. And by the way, the link to the <laughs> Kickstarter is below, as well as the place to pre order your new book that's coming out. Aww, thank you. So, so, yeah. All the fun, exciting things. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, it's not like you've been working on it and building up to it. So, not at all. Just, just, yeah. Just you just it woke out. No up problem. one day and it came out. It was like done. Yeah. Yep. Hi, Peter J. Watts. Good to see you. Um, and all right, I've probably I missed you. You're all done. I think Lexi. Okay, I'm getting there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Calla Lizzie. Wish lists yeah. are great. Yes. And um, yes, Gerald, I remember Lisa was the first person you thought of. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yay. I thought of here you go. Creating a deck is pretty damn healing. Can be, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Or maddening, or both. Sometimes, yeah. don't you have to do both? Yeah, pull your pigtail yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of both. And, yeah. of, of course, Zane is going, of course I remember. Always puts a huge smile on my face. So, and uh, there we go. Hey. Lexi, hello. Lexi. Tortoise Show Moon Kathy. Any idea how I remember Kathy's name? I love that. That's the best. That's the best trick. I need that for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. And Zane is quite excited. I know, uh, you know, there's a couple of people who I know that really like unicorns. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I, I, you know. Unicorns are great. Yes. Yes, they Come are. On. Jamie's like, over here, me. Me, I like unicorns. It's all hey, about Sarah. It's all about Jamie. Yeah. I, was, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I do love unicorns. Yeah. Um, I love by the way, unicorns. Moira says, hello, Peggy, in the background. Moira says, hi, babe. What? Moira says, hi. Hi. <laughs> I was expecting this, and I was expecting to see at least one of the dogs. Mm -hmm. so, Oh, yeah. One was just trying to climb up here a second ago. Well, that's why they're mad. Yeah, I made a wall because he was about to come up come up here. Oh, are you guys live? Yeah. <laughs> well, we've created a monster. Oh, I, yeah. oh, I had plans. Oh. No, I wasn't going to. I was going to oh. be nice. You're behaving. I don't think you can completely block her because she is digging at me to make you let her. Oh, she wasn't trying to get up. Bring her on. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, if she actually comes up, I'll let her up on my lap. There you go. Yep. Um, okay, so so we're talking about healing decks, and one of the things that I want to point out to everyone is is we are not mental health professionals, nor do we play them on YouTube. These are our mm -hmm. opinions and methods for what works for each of us individually. Mm -hmm. And if you find yourself in crisis, seek professional assistance. In the description, I've got a whole list of different places around the globe that are available to to help. So definitely, please please do that. Oh. So, um, and, um, yes, Jamie. Oh, Cal and Lizzie, as I recall, Jamie has a unicorn head mounted on her wall. Voldemort vibes. I do have you a have unicorn. a what? I have, have a unicorn, unicorn head. Uh huh. Oh my word. Yeah. Can we see it? Do. I'll do that. Can Here we, we go. Oh, right you there. do so. That's amazing. I love that. That's amazing. Oh yeah. my God. There you go. Um, and we have awesome. really, really wonderful advice from Lexi. Tarot can be a therapy 
uh, but it isn't a replacement. Mm -hmm. And we're just really not talking only about tarot. We're talking about, you know, the idea was decks. What things mm -hmm. are available to help support you? Mm -hmm. um, or what and, do you yeah. choose to help support you, right? Yes, yes mm -hmm. absolutely. So, um, all right, yes. And um, yes, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And um, Calla Lizzie is LOLing. So, uh, um, I just realized I didn't change my work shirt. Please mm. microchip your pets. Amazing. And down yeah. at the bottom, it says, ask me why. Oh, there you go. There you go. Important message. <laughs> so healing decks. So I've got yeah. lots of questions, but um, other than other than this little event happening, you know, for the Unicorn's Journey Tarot, mm -hmm. that's going on Kickstarter, link below. Um, what do you have coming up on your channel, Lisa? Oh, what do I have coming up? Um, I'm continuing my collection series. So I'm doing, uh, I'm just basically, I hang my decks on the wall. So my system is not a system. I'm just grabbing like an arm load off of the wall and putting them on my desk and then going through them. So I'm doing that right now. What else do I have going on? There's some fun plans that I have with Don Michelle for next month. We're going to do a couple of like, um, video game related Love videos it. slash tags because we're obsessed as i think is obvious at this point uh mm -hmm. so we're gonna do some of that uh i don't have big plans i've tried to keep my my content pressure on myself kind of light for the next month and a half mm -hmm. two months or so i wonder so, why i don't know, why. I don't know. That's just how'd you imagine i have i have book deadlines coming up too so i'm going to be working on another round of edits starting in may like may 1st so i'm mm -hmm. like ah. oh I'll what day? It. What day? May 1st. Oh, that's a great day. Oh, wait, for the, the, the Kickstarter or for the book? No, edit? for her book, your book. Oh, basically. When is it coming out? <laughs> well, when is your book coming out, Lisa? Um, It's due out October 6th or 8th, I think. Mm -hmm. That's what Amazon tells me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing May 1st? Provided I get my edits in on time. Right. Yeah, <laughs> get your edits in on time. Basically, yeah. Jamie is saying that May 1st is her birthday. It's my first birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good day then. That's mm -hmm. an amazing day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy birthday. That's coming up super fast. Do you have plans? Um, yes. <laughs> good. We'll talk good. about it after the show, right? So, oh. Oh. are there any plans? No, you know. <laughs> it sounds better if we say it like that. Yes, they are. Oh, okay. Um, Very uh, dark glorious, fast. chaotic. Lisa's massive deck collection series. Thumbs up and. Everyone is doing collection uh, declutter videos, and I'm here for it. Cool. Yep. So, all right. And um, hashtag, I might be an overachiever because I have created some some banners. And love that. One oh, of the yay. things. One of the things that I think is important is is when we think about healing decks. I think it's really important. Does what does healing mean to you? And by the way, for those of you who are in chat, feel free to include your your definition. So mm -hmm. um, should I put Jamie on the spot first, Lisa, so you don't have to no, answer? No, put Lisa on the spot. She's in the middle. Hey, you can put me on the spot. I, I'm, all, I'm all good. Um, <laughs> I will say it's kind of a broad topic, but for me in my life and practical reality, a lot of my healing work is around digging into the uncomfortable places and mm -hmm. When I'm, when I'm feeling strong, let's put it this way. When I'm feeling strong, I tend to dig into the uncomfortable places and do that side of the work. When I'm not feeling strong or I'm going through a tough time, then my healing work looks more like support and nurturing and giving myself grace and learning how to be, how to sort of lean into better coping tools. So I would say when I'm kind of separating that out, it kind of depends on where I'm at in my head at the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I like both of those places. I sort of work with healing in a sense of support and like nurturing and adding stability through the work that I do, mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm doing pokey stuff, like pokey, difficult, shadowy type stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of the two main places for me. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. makes yeah. A lot of sense. Yeah. Jamie, what about you? Um, so, uh, you know, I thought about this because I've had the, the questions in front of me and, and I, which we'll get to later, but I kind of like started to realize that I look at 
the whole healing or decks, you know, utilized in healing and stuff like that a little bit differently than I thought. Um, but I mean, I do shadow stuff, but when I look at, um, healing decks or things that I use, it's kind of what Lisa says in that it's something that's supporting versus really, um, a dig at. I mean, I did a lot of therapy. I've been dug at a lot and I still have baggage. And I think that I always will have baggage. It's just mm -hmm. how you respond, you know, in life with that baggage still with you. So I think yeah. that I use the different pieces of divination that I have um, in a supportive way, um, a, as opposed to necessarily um, fixing something, just mm -hmm. to kind of mm -hmm. shore it up and say, okay, you're fine. Let's, let's, you know, uh, let's get some, some, something going with the ether um, to make this feel better. Yeah. I like that idea of shoring it up. That's mm -hmm. a really powerful metaphor for like what we're doing, like what we're working on is like, we're building our resilience, right? right? Mm -hmm. Ideally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Ideally. Yeah. <laughs> for me, healing means finding all of the pieces and parts of myself and putting them together in a way that makes them all stronger. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, for me, it, it for me personally, a lot of times I think of the Temperance card because, mm -hmm. like, like, like you said, Lisa, when you're feeling really strong, you'll dig into the dark things and the hard things, mm -hmm. um, and I will do the same thing. And other times when I'm like going, I can barely get out of bed, I'm I'm going to be willing to do that. It's okay to be where I am. Um, and so for me, healing is a, a lot of, it is about making sure that I, I, I am seen, I see myself and I hear myself because when yeah. I do those two things for me, that's extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. extremely I totally powerful. agree. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. I think that's really important work. It's, it, I love the temperance card as a metaphor for healing too. The idea of finding the place of balance or moderation in your approach to your journey is so important and so powerful for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's funny. So I don't know if you know this, Lisa, but he um, is amazing with color and quilting and, and all of that stuff. And so when you were talking, Gerald, all I could see is you taking um, needle and thread and like sewing mm -hmm. together the pieces. Yeah. Oh my God, my heart. Yeah. Yeah. I kinda, powerful. yeah I kind of dig that. And, yeah. yeah. Well, and it is one of those things that, this this idea of I was in my Zen book discussion group earlier today, and that um, uh, kins kinsugi, this um, idea yeah. of repairing oh, the, the gold with the gold, yeah, and and something that I have come to believe, you know, for healing for me is is I am not broken. Yeah. Period. I am not broken. What I'm doing is, is I'm taking these pieces and parts and I'm putting them together with gold. And yeah. then, then when I have it connected, I can then buff up that gold as I need to, as it gets worn. But I, I am complete. I am extremely lovable just as I am. And I don't have to change to make anybody happy. So. Sounds great. So, and, and it is, you know. I think it's one of those things that it's like a lot of times people are like, going, oh, if I do this, I'll be lovable. No, you're already lovable. No. And you want somebody who loves you just the way you are and does things mm -hmm. that encourages you to be mm -hmm. your most authentic and genuine self. 1000%. Yes. Mm -hmm. Preach. So good. Where's yeah, your totally thick fan? Cool. Come on, man. I was like, going, let me get on my soapbox. No, oh, come on. Oh, I you love it. Hand for it. Come on. There we, we go. Oh, I haven't seen the fan. Uh, Excuse me. Is that a fan of tarot cards? Yes. Do you just have. Okay. I, I've been missing out because Gerald has the best props. He, he the does. Heck? Oh, dude. Do you haven't even seen <laughs> half of it? I am I, living. I, yeah. I, I do have a lot of props. I mean, if you need a hat, what? if I need a crown, I can make that happen. Or a wig. Or a or, wig. You know. I, I have been missing out. I yeah. am beside myself right now there's still time there's still time mm -hmm. um, perfect 
Okay. Okay. So, all right. So there have been some wonderful things in the chat and, and I want to get caught up on these because this is, this is the beauty of, of, of having these conversations. So, and by the way, I want to say hi to protect my energy. AAC is here. Hello. And uh, Jane, the seeker is here as well. So, um, okay. So I did, I did put these in. Sarah said healing equals emotional toolkit to work through the hard times and practicing self-care and radical acceptance. Mm -hmm. Nicely said. Mm -hmm. Plucky shared setting boundaries, self-care, letting go of toxic activities, substances, and people. Yes. There's so much power in, in this. Lexi mm -hmm. said sometimes a debt can be healing without you even being aware that it's helping you. That's totally. True. Mm -hmm. That's true. Jane, the seeker well, said, yes. On that point though, it's, it's kind of interesting because when, at least for me, when I started looking at my entire collection and what I consider um, something that I used for healing, um, some of the things that I picked up, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So totally not aware until I actually had it in my hands and I was going, oh, well, yeah, it goes in the pile. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, because I have a huge collection of decks, hence the name Tarot Stash. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I never made that connection. <laughs> I literally thought it was just a mustache reference. By the way, no. that is one snort from Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we counting them? Oh, please yeah. let's count them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I literally never made that connection ever. It's okay. Of course, that makes a lot of people sense. Don't. And so, um, but I, I probably have my head all the time. I have close to six hundred decks, and not all of them okay. are for healing purposes. Mm -hmm. um, Jane the Seeker said, "Some days I want a day that is going to be brutally honest with me. I would say a deck to be, be brutally honest with me, so that I can heal." Yes. I need to be busted yeah. open so that I can heal. Yes. Um, Nicole Russell. Hello, uh, Michelle. Hi, Michelle Russell. One of the toughest things for me is knowing where to draw the line between self-care and self-indulgence. Oh, absolutely. Reach. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reach. Yeah. So. That's a messy line. <laughs> yeah. It is a messy line. And it's always moving. Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. moving. So. Yep. I, I will put this up. Cal Lizzie said, Gerald being good with color and quilting is something uh, of an understatement. He's healing for everyone. Oh shit, Aww. man. I've got, I've got a damn quilt that stretches across an entire damn window from him that, um, yeah, it's an understatement for sure. Liz. <laughs> you have it up actually, Jamie. I will you never know. tell you. Okay. She doesn't have it up yet. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 the the video is on on my channel. It's it's yeah. only what six foot by eighteen inches or thirty six inches something. Yeah, like that. Huge. he took one of my favorite spiritual places here in Oregon and um, turned it into this beautiful fabric sketch that oh. is, pardon people, absolutely fucking amazing. So, yeah, wow. and my idea, I have this really rad scrolled um, curtain, and I have the light sears hung up across it. So I'm going to take all of that down, and I'm going to hang it up there so that it's right in front of me. Oh, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. oh, well, thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. it's, fun. it's beautiful. You, have to, you should go look. It's really pretty. Pia's Eclectic Life said, healing for me is taking time just for me doing those things that bring me joy and peace and my own time to, uh, on yeah. my own timetable and no one else's. For sure. Nice. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, we have a good question. Is it the deck itself that is healing? Some deck, uh, some decks won't be work for everyone. Yes. Which is why we're doing this conversation. So mm -hmm. that's a beautiful question. Oh, and Jane the Seeker said, I was today years today years old when I found that out, Lisa. Jane. 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 Are you fucking kidding? Jane. <laughs> I love it. I'm not by myself over here with the puns flying over the head. Okay. Do, I, I was destroyed. 
no, no, no. Let's all, you know, Jane was, uh, Jane admitted it. So it was all good. Um, well, honesty is terrific, Gerald. I'm still going to give her crap. With, with all of that you love. You right? such a like salt and pepper cup. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to mute her, Jane? Because I can do that for you. Um, oh, I would how never, rude. never do that. I'm sorry, Jamie. I'm sorry. Meeting Betsy Palmer says, I always say to be gentle with myself. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, so whatever I feel I need to do in the moment, sometimes it's intense. Sometimes it's play. Sometimes it's PJs all day. Just mm -hmm. honor what yeah. I need in the moment. Mm -hmm. That's really true. Mm -hmm. That is hard for me to figure out, though. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. That was a tough one for me because I have, um, well, most people know, I have like a, a disease that sometimes knocks me out for three and four days at a time. And it is hard to allow myself to just be in a bed or in a yeah. chair or whatever. That's tough for me. Super, super tough. Yeah. 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 Oh, here you go. Gentle reader. The term effing is a translative, transitive Sorry. verb, which modifies the word amazing. Thanks. Sure. And, <laughs> and, and Jane is laughing. So we're good. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. And um, we're, we're like an old married couple, you know, or 100%. <laughs> well, and that's why we put you in between us because it's safer for everybody watching. So we have past lives together. Just oh, actually, so. we do, and we we used a, a tarot deck to find that out. So mm -hmm. we have a we have a tarot deck. I hope I have um, I hope I haven't missed anyone's comments. I mm -hmm. I um I do want to 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 move on. Any last minute thoughts about that? Um, what healing means to you? Because the next question is, what makes a healing deck healing for mm -hmm. you? So, um, oh, I think Zane may have put in the, um, is that the video for the, uh, mm -hmm. the, okay. That's is that the, for the quilt? That's mm -hmm. for the quilt. Yeah. It's on my landing page. Okay. So. Um, okay. Perfect. So, oh, and um, Beth said that makes sense, Jamie, because the bed sometimes isn't a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Jonathan Daly is here. Hello, Jonathan. JD. Jonathan. And Lexi said, sometimes you're forced to heal, forced to deal with a situation that intimidates you. Tarot is a good tool to guide you through that process. Yes. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kristen mm -hmm. Louise. Um, and um, Maruta said, if you've been neglected and denied your whole life, indulging yourself can be very healing. Uh, learning you're worth it. This is one of the important things. Oh, look at me. I'm pointing. That's always one of my signs when, you know, I'm not just the only one speaking. It's important to, as we share space together that we understand that what works for me may not work for someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And learning that how someone uses what works for them, because I'm really interested in learning what makes a deck healing because it may be something I've never thought about. And I think mm -hmm. it's really, really powerful. So, yep. um, um, oh, this just in, um, wait a minute, here, here we go. Sorry. God. Hello. Sip, sip. <laughs> I'm going to have a sip too. <laughs> yes. A healing deck for me comes in two forms, gentle affirmation and decks that won't put up with my crap and makes mm -hmm. uh, and make me own my crap. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And Moira said, personally, I, I have found creativity and art more healing than tarot. Good. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. I love that. I mm -hmm. live in I think for me, one of the things that, um, you know, what makes a healing deck for a uh, healing for me is, is when I'm energetically connected to it. If it mm -hmm. draws in for some reason, there are tarot decks that I've purchased that I am like, on, I need this. I have no idea why I need it right now, mm -hmm. but I need it and it showed up or I've seen it in 
four different places that are not related to each other. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm like going, okay, I, I want to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. I want to pay yep. attention to that. Um, so a healing deck, and I am oftentimes, I am the person who um, I need, I sometimes I need a warm hug. Sometimes yeah. I need to be underneath the blanket, sucking my thumb. Sometimes I need, somebody, yeah, some, sometimes I need someone to slap me upside the head and go, oh, really? Actually, I need somebody to go, really, queen? That's my job. <laughs> it's like, yeah. really? Well, and, and so, and that's, I think that's the blessing and the curse of, of the tarot because there's so many options mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't work. I'm also the guy who, I'm also the guy who, if I hate a tarot deck, I need to figure out why I don't like it because there's a hidden message in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm getting caught up in chat and then we can go, go on. I'm, I'm like, on blah, 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 blah. Kala Lizzie said, um, I think almost any deck can be healing. It's sort of how I feel on the day. Yes. Sure. And I also think it's how you use it. So, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Beth said, yes, a deck that kicks you in the butt can be healing, just not the traditional notions around offering healing. Yes. So can I, yeah. can I comment on that to that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how I discovered in this room that um, I don't want, and of course, again, this is my opinion. It doesn't mean that, everybody else doesn't have their way but i don't want to get my butt kicked anymore i've been kicked enough mm -hmm. that i my how i'm pulling on that healing is like i said earlier it's that supported thing if something's yeah. kicking my ass yeah for another time another lifetime not not today yeah yeah that's totally valid and, and I want to support you because that's a recent realization, isn't it, Jamie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I want, I want, yeah, I want, um, it, it, as lame as it sounds, comfort and joy. <laughs> that's valid. Yeah, yeah, that's completely yeah. valid. And, and that gets underestimated, I think, as a form of power. I think mm -hmm. a lot of times we think of powerful things as dark, intense, and pokey. And mm -hmm. sometimes power is found in the comforting and supportive and kind and and gentle and mm -hmm. i think we we sort of have a tendency to pigeonhole a little yeah. bit like things that things are supportive as being kind of mushy and not we sometimes kind of we do pigeonhole supportive nice things as weak or yep. weaker we do. And then yeah. we do something that's really intense and like seems badass and ferocious and mm -hmm. there's ferocity at both ends of that spectrum you know what mm -hmm. i mean there's strength at both sides and we don't always mm -hmm. see that or acknowledge that i think mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah I, th I think so. What, what Beth, Beth, I knew what you meant. And yeah, no, I, I, I got it. Oh yeah. The yeah. MJ. But that was, that was a really good point because that brings up there's, you know, sometimes you don't want that. And, and I think healing decks change as we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. They, should. Yeah. they really mm -hmm. should, because if there was a healing deck and you've only used that one forever and ever and ever, and you're stuck, there, that might be time to freshen it up a bit. Mm -hmm. so. That's kind of what a plateau is, right? Like we hit a point where we're not growing and then how do we get ourselves to that next level of growth? We mm -hmm. either challenge ourselves or we, we, um, care for ourselves in a softer way. Like we, mm -hmm. we go for that next step to go, what do I need now? Yeah. I, at one point I needed something to kick my ass. And now what I need is something to hold my hand, you know, yeah. and that, yeah. Well, going with that flow and those waves and knowing how to ride them, I think the self-awareness piece of understanding what you need is the hardest piece. And if you can get that piece, then you can find the tools you need to support you in that. Yeah. And I don't anticipate that that's where I, that I will stay in this space, but it was mm -hmm. just when I started looking through everything and it was like, okay, from the time that we had the conversation, I think you talked to Beth and the whole nine and we had this conversation um, my perspective kind of got turned on its ear and it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to accept the fact that that's not what I want, you know? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, should, clap. I, I, sh I should be doing this. Yay. Oh, there we go. Thank you for the balloon. How did you Yay. do that? 
He's magic. And there's confetti? Uh, there is I want confetti. confetti. Can I have confetti? How do I get confetti? <laughs> Well, I will, I will give you hearts and then I will give you confetti. Aww, you know, thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So what makes a healing deck healing for you, Lisa? For me, I was thinking about this. I realized that the thing mm -hmm. that makes a deck healing for me is a deck that allows me to see myself. So mm -hmm. if I can see a wounded part of me, if I can see um, a needy part of me, if I can see an emotion I'm having a hard time identifying, if I can see a strength that I'm not seeing in myself or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like what, not the word that jumps to mind is perk. It's not perk. It's like a, a, a positive quality. <laughs> like mm -hmm. if I, decks that help me see myself and to see myself with more objectivity than I can see myself in whatever direction that takes me based on what I can handle at the time. So that, that truth, that mirror, that's what I want. That's what I go to cards in general for when I read for myself. I want that mirror and I want to see things that I'm not seeing clearly. I want to dig below the surface level and, and find out more, unpack more, mm -hmm. understand more. So decks that help me do that are going to fall into that healing category for me, which was a, a surprising number. I had to stop myself. I grabbed so many decks and I'm like, this is ridiculous. And I've only got like three tarot decks in this whole pile. But like, the, I, cause I started on my Oracle spreadsheet. I, I was going through my spreadsheet going this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. okay I got to calm down. But I think that's cause that's literally what I use cards for. Yeah. <laughs> 100% overachiever. That's that's two it's, snorts. <laughs> love it so much. But yeah, it's it's mm. it's decks that let, help me see myself. Yeah. Mm. I I think that's I think that's extremely powerful. Um decks that uh allow you see see yourselves. I mm. I will share at one point I was intensive well I was in in with my therapist and I had done I was I was struggling with something and I did a tarot card reading for myself. And at that point I hadn't told my therapist that I read tarot because it just didn't come up per se. And, yeah. um, and, and what I did is, is I decided to just be really honest. And I said, okay, this may sound weird, you know? And, and I said, I did a tarot reading on this and is it okay if I show you? And, she said, absolutely. And what it was is, is it gave me the ability with a licensed professional to look at what I was experiencing from an objective standpoint. Instead, you know, here's here here's the tiny hand. We were both looking at it. And so we were working at it together rather than me trying to look inside myself, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Totally. Really, really powerful. And it, it really shifted things. It mm -hmm. really shifted. Wow. Things. So that's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I would like to sh uh, allow us to see some decks after. Um, and by the way, the best chatters are bringing it. I know you are <laughs> I know you're watching this. So I'd like to go and catch up with some of the best chatters um, because I probably have, I have missed some of them. Uh, okay. For me, it's definitely the imagery, whether I use it for meditation or inspiration for poetry or artwork. If I don't love the images, I won't buy the deck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jane is like, this is like a tarot tube crossover edition with Lisa. I love mm -hmm. it. So <laughs> here we go. Um, tarot mm -hmm. reading is a two way street. It's a relationship. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, example, affirmation, shadow land, butt kicking, this might hurt. Yeah. I love me that this might hurt. Um, not necessarily. Sometimes you can dislike a deck because you don't like the art. That's true. That's sure. true, Lexi, because that's when I, there's a deck that I would say I'm intrigued by, but I don't want to definitely pick it up yet. It's mm -hmm. sort of like the, um, um, the... Somnia. It was intriguing, but it was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's weird. So, um, Kaylee Sorry, said, I wasn't making a face at you, Gerald, just so you know. I unwrapped one of my decks and it had a piece of my husband's long hair in it. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? Well, uh, yeah, I'm like, what is he doing that with? 
why is he putting okay um mm -hmm. Haley said i have one oracle deck specifically that gets me full-blown chills just touching the cards for the first time i knew i had to buy it in that moment first time it happened and hasn't since there you go mm -hmm. um, yeah so and Kristen louise also i kick myself enough i need a deck that uh, tells me to chill out that's very true mm -hmm. and uh, <sighs> Jonathan has shared that the spread used is just as important as the deck you grab for your reading. Yep. Yep. Plucky said the beauty of healing decks is that there are countless tarot and Oracle decks to choose from. You can pick the right flavor um, to meet your current needs. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can you imagine we wouldn't have been having this conversation 20 years ago or we would be having a different conversation 20 years ago. With Absolutely. No, but I don't even know that we would have been having this, this conversation three, four years ago. Could be. Yeah. I mean, think about all that changed in the last five yeah. years, like for the world, like yeah. our need for healing is unmatched. I feel like okay. in this day and age. Well, and the option for the ways of using these things, spacious tarot yeah. is healing for me. I love the strength card in that deck. Mm -hmm. yep. um, wisdom from the epics of of Hind gives very practical advice, like get some rest. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, and look, your next deck is only an epiphany away. Really? You don't say. This section of the video is brought to you by the word epiphany. Everyone say it with me. Epiphany. Epiphany. A usually sudden manifestation or perception of the essential nature or meaning of something. Liking, sharing, and subscribing could lead to an epiphany. Probably not, but it might. What a change! What did I just watch? Wait, is there is is this something you do all the time? Do you have like a word of the video? Is it does it change? Is it I'm always scared. epiphany? I have so many questions. I need answers. I, and I'm happy to provide them. And um, I I want to be very clear. I did not prompt Plucky to put that in. No. But no. I had that. I had that, and I'm like going. Holy shit, I am totally using it, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Tarot Stash. <laughs> and by the way, you should have seen Lisa backstage. Like, it was just like... <laughs> I was dying. I was like, what is happening right now? Well, at she least I did... I, you know. Welcome to Tarot Stash. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. Okay. Thank you. So do you, all, do you always have, okay, we'll start there. Is there, is it different? Do you have, do you have a word every time? Do you do one of those? I, I oftentimes do a word of the day and okay. they're different. Okay, wait, do the one that we all hate. Come on. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, please. And by okay. the way, you just have to, let I'm me so find excited. it. Let me find it. Everybody, Jamie. Oh my God. Here you go. Hold on. Whoa. Welcome. Today's video is sponsored by the word moist. Everyone say it with me. Moist. Moist. I, I was all the prepared. People that I was knew. so not prepared. Look at all the people that knew, though. And Zane's saying, why, Jamie, why? <laughs> oh, no. Plucky said it right before you rolled it. And I was like, oh, God, no, let it not be that. And that's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, my God. How do you all function in here? Um, I, here, uh, this Very is well. This is what happens. Yeah, yeah. I could just say this is Lisa Pepe's last visit on my channel. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> After moist, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, let's refer to, what if we refer to cake? Does that make it any better? Much better. Talk about a Betty Crocker commercial on there. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, yes. that, that, that works. I'm blushing because oh it's my God. hilarious. Uh -huh. yes. And um, mm. Jamie just broke Lisa. I oh just, my God. Oh. We laugh whilst we learn. Yeah, yeah. It, that was... I I I truly was not prepared, and I am so glad because and that's one so of the words. Better. That's yeah. one of the yeah. words. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Perfect. Well, and and actually, that's why this is called laugh and learn because we're spending a lot of time learning. But when we and when we laugh, it elevates our energy, and we remember these things easier. Um, it's true. So, and um, so yeah. Don't make me. I'm not going to show that one. And yeah, if you're if you're in need of healing laughter uh, and uh, some healing laughter, just visit Tarot Stash. I'm there. sold. Where do I sign up? Amazing, <laughs> okay. amazing. So, um, because oh. because we are going to get to sharing the decks. Um, I want to eventually. Yes. Um, eventually. Okay. <laughs> there you go. What makes a healing deck for me is the moment I cry with recognition. It's truly that. Yeah. Simple. Again, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's sure. beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jane was talking about uh, that's why she likes decks without people, so that she can see herself in them better. Oh, I forgot a deck. Oh, I've got I've got lots of those. So we just I just literally was like, oh, there's the one that I could have grabbed that was so good. <laughs> that made me think of so grab it. So. Kristen, okay. Louise, I would love to have a deck that gives me permission to forgive myself for being human. I don't think I've found that deck yet. Yeah, acceptance and gentleness and yeah. self-compassion. Big stuff. Good stuff. And, mm. and we, we need a lot of that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's a thought. Maybe animal decks work because we feel the animal and see ourselves uh, reciprocal transference of emotions between people and animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Beth, for That's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I never thought of it from that perspective, Lisa, pip decks, animal decks, or any particular without people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. um, tortoiseshell moon, Kathy said a healing deck helps my journey to make sense of my own world. Usually the conflict doesn't come externally, but the things happening internally, this could be yes. an act that resonates on the day. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Any deck can be healing. Yes, very true. And um, Lightfoot has had the epiphany as well. Um, Excellent. So, um, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this just in. Lisa is losing. I her really mind. did lose. Oh. I did lose my mind for real. <sighs> and it is a good word of the day, actually. So, and that did yeah. work so well. Okay, so, um, oh, oh, and there she said it. There you go. There's where yeah. I caught up now. So, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm scrolling down. So if okay. So. I know I'm late, but what in the world have I missed? Well, Lorraine, <laughs> Jamie broke Lisa, and then yep. we found a deck to heal her. Put her together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was snort number three. <laughs> four. Was it four? Yeah. We're losing track. <laughs> Amazing. Four. So, um, okay. Oh, and uh, maybe Lisa can speak to decks with a story arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gee, I wonder why. There you go. I wonder why. Hmm. I, wonder, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with this. It might have something to do with the link to the book that's being published in the fall. Mm -hmm. so, there we go. All right. Um, oh, and Lorraine said, y'all having a moist epiphany. What the hell went, went on here? Yes. I discovered the word of the day. Well, I didn't discover it. I was exposed to it. I was exposed to it un, un, uh, unaware. So I was, I was unprepared. Yes. Amazing. So um, funny. Okay. And Mousy said, why would I need to forgive myself for being human? I choose to be here. Yes. Sometimes being human is, is really challenging for people. Mm -hmm. and, and that's part of the, 
the work so that they could be present and be fully part of it and experience it. So, mm -hmm. um, so, okay. So should we, um, Michelle Russell said, re animal decks. I've considered using a cat deck to work on being present in my body because cats are so damn good at that. Haven't mm -hmm. actually tried mm -hmm. yet. Cats are also so damn good at knocking things off of counters. So if you need to clear surfaces, Michelle, no, but that, yeah, I like the way you're thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. So Lisa, would you like to share an example of a healing deck? Sure. Sure. Are we doing no, no rhyme or reason, right? I'll talk about one of the first ones. This, this, I was reminded of this deck when you were talking Gerald about sometimes you're, you're really intrigued by or drawn to a deck, even though you don't necessarily know that you like it you're just like hmm this keeps coming up like why does this keep coming up and that was my this is a deck i've talked about a ton so nobody's going to be super shocked but the um deviant moon was that deck for me oh. um every time i saw somebody sharing this deck anywhere i was like ew ew that's just creepy for creepy's sake that makes no sense that's like demony i don't i don't like it fast forward to using demon decks that's a whole other story but like i'm just saying like <laughs> i just had all of these preconceived ideas about this artwork and it really made me uncomfortable mm -hmm. and i was like i will never buy this deck i was vocal i was posting in facebook groups like i will never mm -hmm. buy this deck this is icky <laughs> i actually remember this yeah and then i went into like i think it was like a barnes and noble or a metaphysical store or something and they had a sample deck out and i picked it up and somebody in chat i forget who mentioned getting like tingles from a deck like they had this like really yeah it was visceral like immediate reaction that's mm -hmm. what happened to me i was like this art is beautiful i cannot explain yeah. i don't think it's beautiful the way that i would normally say that right but it's beautiful and i took it home and ever since this has been one of my go-to's for helping me be comfortable with discomfort. And that's been a huge part of my personal healing journey is like allowing myself to experience discomfort and be in that place and not have it be the end of the world. Yeah. You know, like I was kind of like, I had a lot, I have a lot of stuff around like trying to squash negative emotions or difficult emotions or uncomfortable things or not look at things that are uncomfortable. And this deck, you cannot be, well, okay, I cannot be fully comfortable working with this deck. It makes me look at the uncomfortable mm -hmm. so this is one of the pokier ones when i'm in when i'm feeling strong and i'm in a space where i can do this and i can be sure. uncomfortable this one is so so amazing for that and i've never found another deck that has quite done this job this way you want to hear way. something funny what so i didn't pull that off the shelf because i have like multiple copies in different colors and all so i started collecting those um i didn't yeah. pull it off the shelf but i despised that deck until he had the book go the big book his big fat book go on sale and i bought that book and then i started reading about you know his childhood drawings and all of that stuff and yeah. so i actually bought it and i i slept with it um under my pillow <laughs> yeah and i actually when if i'm being very frank it does not make me uncomfortable anymore I actually look at that as charming. Yep. And they actually charm the pants off of me. Yeah. I know people who are like that with the um the what's not the Marseille one, but what's his other one? The the Pip the, one. The Oracle one? No, the 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 no. I have it I'm over blank. and I can't remember the name of it. I, I just glitched. It's the Mar Marseille. I it, yeah, I had it twice. Yeah. Anyways, that one. That one. I hear people talk about that one charming the pants off them too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I could see how how you could get to that place with it for sure. I, yeah, I was gifted the book. It was the same story. I had no yeah. idea, and it's such an that book is incredible. That book yeah, is incredible. I think, I think because I realized that these were his monsters, and I had oh, a lot of yes. childhood monsters, right? And yeah. so those are my friends if that makes sense yes in a weird... that totally makes sense yeah, yeah. there's almost yeah. like a comforting quality do you think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um yeah oh and um you know gerald and sandra we did a live about it we're talking about the um the deviant moon and um trisha uh wore two there it the is same way the triumphy yeah yep yes triumphy the, the luna yeah mm -hmm. yep. i yep. have a couple of copies of that well, and for me, yeah. here, okay, here's the difference. 
I think the um, uh, the Deviant Moon, it's a funny deck for me. It just makes me ridiculously happy because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. funny. It's silly for me. That, again, is an example of is, is what works for Lisa isn't going to have the same impact on me. Right. Yeah. There's the beauty in that. I think it's yeah. great. Did y'all hear this is coming out in a borderless mini? Mm -hmm. I heard that, and um, I am like going, I need to purchase responsibly and know my limits. Mm -hmm. But I have like mm -hmm. five copies of that. I have it bordered, unbordered. I have, really? yeah, I have personal copies of it to where mm -hmm. I only use it for myself. And then I have public decks with that. Yeah, I've got some. So I feel and... like I can, yeah, yeah. you can justify Every the mini. Color you can think of, it's just ridiculous. I love it. Mm -hmm. So one of the decks that when I need a, a slap upside the head that just tells me, okay, calm, calm the F down and, you know, think about this. Um, the Rebel deck. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with this? Oh, it's she's funny. familiar. <laughs> funny. But yeah. also, I just recently got this. This is the Rebel deck. It's the So Fresh, So Clean edition. This one, I will oh. share some of it because this is for this is for um, kids under 18 because oh. it has things it has here. Let me pull this out. Oh, how's this? Conversations can be healing or harmful. Venting e equals healthy. Gossip equals ew. 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 And so, you know, and it's like, believe what you see. The way people treat you is their choice and never your fault. They are showing you who they are. And so this is that, this is that, uh, you know, the, the honesty, the direct honesty that I need. So, yes. So, and um, yeah, and these, uh, yeah, the so fresh, so clean version came out and um, I was like, going, that's, and I use, I use the rebel deck and I use both of these for, caffeinated and unfiltered readings um but what's really cool is is um this is this is extremely powerful extremely yeah. powerful so mm -hmm. there's that That's uh, awesome. mm -hmm. um, uh you mm -hmm. know deviant moon meh triumphi de luna de la luna yes so and um, the decks that one ch chooses at the beginning of a healing journey may differ so greatly weeks, months later. To me, changing decks serves as a tangible way to measure my growth. Mm -hmm. Well said. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well said. Um, so, Jamie, do you have one that you'd like to share? I do. So I cannot recall if it was myself or Kelly Fitzgerald, my friend, that found this deck or if we found it at the same time. But Elizabeth on Earth self-reflection deck, there's like four different decks all in one. And she just recently came out with additional cards. So, I mean, it's a chunk, right? Um, and it's all her art. And I'll try and get not get a glare. Um, but it's very kind of ethereal and um, yummy. Um, and, you know... You're in the card. I mean, talk about a stormy day, yeah. Um, and I know what that are this the titles is, are they like keywords or are they like does it name what's in the card or does it give you like a it's like it's like this one? This is one that like was one of Kelly's. It's called The Mother. Oh yeah. Um, so this one, hang on one sec, let me reverse. Like this one says when life hands you lemons. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is Lost Girl. Dang. Mm-hmm. Um, the Uphill Road. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, and so this is, there's a series of these balloon ones in here, and this one's called The Crone. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And this, I love this card, Once in a Lifetime. Wow. Yeah. So this Dang. one is there's no guidebook or anything like that. Her whole thing was that you just flip through them and you pull from it what you need to pull from it and find what you need to find. Um, she didn't want um, any of them to be uh, where you had to come to her conclusions. 
um, which I kind of mm -hmm. appreciate, um, especially with so many of them. So yeah, they're they're beautiful, and it's one of those decks. This is um, the comfy chair under a blanket, rainy day kind of deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, love that. I can see that. <laughs> Elizabeth on Earth. I'd never even heard of that deck. Yeah, yeah there's there's like four of them. Um, I think the fifth one just recently came out, and I had to torture Kelly and send her pictures, and she's like, "Ah, God, I've got well, to get and, that. and all of them are the same size, so they work together. Mm -hmm. So that's helpful. Oh boy. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Lisa is now um, considering adding it to the wish list. Purchase responsibly. Know your limits. It's here to I may have opened another tab. I may have opened another tab. I'm just looking. <laughs> hey, no judgment. No judgment. Um, they're they're beautiful, I gotta say. Yeah. No judgment. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna share another another thing that I have that is makes me happy. Is is these are I've had these for like almost forever. It's the um original I've angel cards. They're so cute. I've seen those somewhere, my local metaphysical shop, maybe. Yeah. But I've never seen the actual cards, like just the box. You have things like presence. Oh, cute. Things like wisdom. Support. Isn't that cute? And they're oh, just so little itty bitty things. Strength. People were talking about strength earlier. And so they're they're just really beautiful. I originally met these in um in a game that is now out of print. It's called the Transformations Game. Um, and it's a really interesting game that you can have four people play and you have your life path and then you go through these different levels and you pull cards and all that stuff. But the angel cards were part of that. And I'm looking, I'm loving these cards. Yeah. And, yeah they are so teeny. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, just for instance, I've got them in my little box and I'll pull an angel card and the angel card for us today is joy. And um, I mean, they're, they're just great. They're just yeah. great. So they're wonderful things to like when I'm doing a reading with somebody, I can pull it out. Like for instance, risk. Mm -hmm. So they're not always, you know, so they're, 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 they're great reminders for me. Yeah. And like when I need a, a quick little hit, I used to store these at work. So, and if I, if I was going into a meeting every once in a while, I'd go, you know, I'm having this meeting with that so and so. What do I need to remember? And it's like, you know, it's like invariably, you know, I would say eight times out of ten, it was spot on within the first ten minutes of the meeting. So, mm -hmm. yep. Um, Calla Lizzie said we need a chocolate angel card. <laughs> oh. So, and uh, Ramon is here. Um, Moon Scarab, good to see you. And. Um, Michelle Marie, Astrological Tarot, my Reiki healer, uh, Chiara, introduced me to the angel cards in 2012. She mm -hmm. finishes her session with a card pull. They're wonderful little reminders. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Plucky said, yep, the original angel cards years ago. Used to carry them. Yep. And um, I've been, it's been a long time since I caught Lisa live popping in to say hello Hello, Shadow Moon Witch. Good to see you here. Do you need the word Hello. of the day to annoy everybody? Because I'll do it if you need me to. <laughs> um, Courtney is here. Hi, Courtney. Hmm. <laughs> Lisa's like, oh, don't do it, Gerald. I like that person. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll do it. Don't do it. Would you like to show um, another card? Another or deck? Deck? Yeah, I'm going to show two because they go together and because it just came up in chat. Oh, oh, my camera hates when I hold things up. Hold, please. I'll fix it. Do you need me I'll to do a it. word of the day? Okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm good. There we are. Fix it. See? Oh, she's yeah, panicked. She is panicked. Different word. Go back. She, she, you know, we've panicked Lisa. <laughs> Um, this is actually, I'm going to pull this out of their bags because they're matching bags. This is actually the Chicoli, the Nicoletta Chicoli Tarot and Oracle. Mm -hmm. These are, um, not at all for everyone by like a long oh, stretch. Yeah. These can was... actually be, yeah, I was going to say, these can actually be, I would almost like trigger warning these. 
especially mm-hmm. the Oracle. Um, Absolutely. they can be quite intense, but, um, what I found that this has been amazing for is there's something about Nicoletta Ciccoli's artwork. I'll show some of the Tamer cards. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never had an artist affect me this way where it feels like she captures the, I don't know how to put this, like the, the sweetness that covers the toxicity of Mm -hmm. life of people. And I feel like this deck does a really good job at helping to call things out as they are to see them as they are. And for somebody like me that sometimes I struggle a lot with rose colored glasses with not wanting to see the, the real Um, not wanting to believe what I'm seeing because I like to look at things through that filter. That's my kind of comfort zone. And so this has been very helpful in the present for sort of like getting into those uncomfortable layers of like really looking at a situation with honesty. And also it's been really incredibly healing when it comes to looking at past experiences I've had with that filter, with that, with that, by help to take the filter off my past experiences and see them as they really are. So this is kind of my, um, not to, and I don't mean this lightly at all, but just like my childhood trauma deck. What is happening in the chat? Look at Gerald. Oh, losing it. No, look look hard at Gerald. Look at me. You had Did mentioned you rose-colored glasses. Rose glasses. <laughs> yes. I'm so slow, y'all. You're not slow. You're not slow. But I think I think you are, you know, and and you're I think you're really right because <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> broken Lisa. I think you're, you are, it, it is so true because that deck isn't for everybody. And people in the chat were already mentioning it before you had actually said it. So I know that's why I brought it out. I'm like, Oh, this is relevant. And, and, and I actually, um, Jeffrey has that. My husband has both of them. I don't care for them. Mm-hmm. So, and, and that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely, trippy and the oracle is especially i feel like it's especially confronting like it's very confronting and mm-hmm. these are not decks that i would typically pull for clients because of their um intensity but the oracle i even i went through the entire thing and i even added my own keywords to the bottom usually one that's a little bit more positive and one that's not like this one is um acceleration and overcorrection so the ways in which we can either be going really fast and having momentum or we can be overcorrecting, panicking, like, yeah. so I really kind of personalize these decks to be me, positivity versus abdication. So are we being positive or are we abdicating our responsibility? Right. So it's just been, it's been, these have been really, really, really powerful for me, but these are very much a, for a very specific purpose or when I'm in a very particular place, that's when these can really be exact. And I've never had another deck that can do what these specifically do. I, I think, um, you know, and I think what's, I want to, I want to, um, what really has elevated that deck is because you've personalized them. That's the real beauty in it. I think for me, mm-hmm. that's really, absolutely. Really so, yep. but yeah, Jamie, do you have a, a deck you would like to share your, ch- by the way, again, everybody, we all know that the best chatters are bringing it. So you're bringing it, you're bringing it, you're bringing it, you're bringing it. Yeah. So, yeah. What so, do you have, um, this is the Monstero. Um, I've had this for a long, 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 long time. Edged it the okay. whole nine, put it in a cute little Peggy bag that I've had for a long yes. time. Um, this is another one of those um decks that i don't even have to read with it it just is um it's a happy little kid place right Mm -hmm. yeah totally i mean and they can be sassy if you do try and read with it but um again sometimes it's just a sunday afternoon where everything is gone kind of slow i have a whining doberman i want to ignore him (laughs) and my own personal Jesus is over there playing computer games. And this is what I pick up. I love that. I love this deck so much. This deck has my whole heart. Yeah. I don't have it actually in the pile at all, Sarah. I I have a whole story about how this deck came to be into my possession, but we won't talk about that now, but you're like, okay, but I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful deck. It's always it's always close at hand for me. It's one of those that just like it's so 
comforting and and accepting. It feels like a very accepting deck. So if you're looking for a deck that makes you feel seen in an accepting way, I really, yeah. really think the Monstero is a beautiful one for that. Yeah. 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 I hated the name of it. When I first heard it, I was like, who in the hell names their tarot deck that? What in the actual hell? I love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's once I looked at it, I understood it. So, Harley is here. Yeah. Harley. Hi, Harley. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah, it was like an and um, Zane first saw the Monstera on your channel, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I was gifted a, an out of print first edition, and it was like I think the first time I was ever gifted. I want to say it was one it, one of, if not the first deck I was ever gifted. It was one of the first for sure, mm -hmm. and it was it just meant the whole world. And that deck has been like soul deck ever since. Love that deck. I, I love yeah. that too. So, um, and and um, one of the other decks that I have, I actually use this for for clients. It's the Enchanted Tarot. Mm -hmm the um, Amy Zerner mm -hmm. and Monty Barber. This is, this is actually a healing deck for me, literally for when people specifically are asking for insight. Um, good night, Jane. When people <laughs> are asking specifically on insights on healing, this is the deck that I pick up. Um, have, do you both know this? I don't I know it. I had the big version at one point, the, 25th anniversary. I think it's now the 30th anniversary edition. Yeah, I also have that one. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so, and these are the, you know, they're, they're, um, uh, they are, um, yeah, what's the word? Words, Gerald. Um, they are, they're actually, they're little pieces of art. And um, inside the book, the, the really what's helpful is, is like there's the dream the awakening and the enchantment. So for me, yeah. it's a really effective way to help someone to do some magic as part of their healing. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely powerful. It's extremely powerful. Yeah, cool. it's got beautiful texture on that deck. It the really does. the it fabric really does. pieces and yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, and I do have to put in here, yes, the Sasarabito is a, that is very a good, good one. Deck. So I did not pull that one out. Sassy burrito. Well, it's a good one. Yes. I, did, I don't have it in my stack either, but it's always right there. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, I what, I did, yeah, what mm -hmm. I did was is I limited to what I had out within reach mm -hmm. for what I was Smart. looking for instead of going into the other room in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, Lisa, do you have something else that you'd like to share? I do. Um, okay, let's let me talk about the. Oh gosh, where do I want to go? Um, this is. Um, I call this my Linus blanket deck, the heart align. Excuse me, okay. align heart. I always say it backwards. It's the align heart. Um, Kimberly Sand just did a Kickstarter for a new version of this because the original version it's pastel cards with white text. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's an affirmation yeah. type deck. What she did is she put this spot gloss, kind of hollow spot gloss heart on it. And it's kind of like a thought that like you put your, like the idea is that you put your thumb on it. Like you read the affirmation and then you sort of like absorb the message. It gives you that sort of experience to like work with it in a way. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. thought that was the silliest thing at first. But when I went through a really tough time a couple of years back, well, I guess it was last year, I was going through a really, really hard time. And I carried this deck everywhere because the messages on it are things like um, one step at a time. That one's really obvious. But how about this one? Your pain is real. Mm. Oh, nice. Acknowledgement. Or, I know I no longer need to hide from myself for I see and accept all that there is within. Mm. Um, or I allow myself to have fun and enjoy life to the fullest. Or I allow myself to ask for what I need. Um, the ill intent I see in others is a reflection of the shame I feel towards myself. Like it's not just a fluffy, tell you what you want to hear. And you know what I mean? There's a mix, but it's all affirmative. Like it's all very, it makes you feel seen. You are safe. Mm -hmm. Like these are the kind of messages that can like make you like actually soften your shoulders and breathe easy if you're anxious, you know? What mm -hmm. was the name of that deck again? Because I don't, you know. The like, line heart, the, right? The Align Heart, yeah, by Kimberly Sand. Heart Align. And yeah, 
So she's doing, I think, a series. I think she wants to do more. So this one's Align Heart, and I think she wants to do like an Align Mind and mm-hmm. another series. But the new ones are the same pastels, but they have dark colored text, so it's much easier to read. Mm-hmm. Um, I love this original pastel version, though, I have to admit. It's got like little hollow nice. edges. But I, I literally, I don't think I've ever had another affirmation style deck that supported me the way that this one did through actual real life difficult difficult time mm-hmm. difficult difficult times yeah. I, I heard the lightest deck was expecting charlie brown i'm sorry i met like a blanket it was like my cozy blanket yeah. that i carried around <laughs> with me like yeah it was like it was this was what kept me sane for a good a good month or so yeah yeah oh look i have there's a link oh. up there to the oh, what's, look. what's the deck the unicorn's journey tarot journey tarot oh. Um, oh yeah, and Kaylee oh Fogo Fogo is like wish list. Mm-hmm. Um, um, mm-hmm. Zane had shared. I have a healing deck that I don't um, even read with. I just pull it out and flip through the cards, and the images just soothe my soul. The Botan. Yeah. So I do that a lot with Monstero, actually. Mm-hmm. I do that a lot with Monstero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So definitely. Yep. So we all still have time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Cool. Yeah. Because Lisa, do you have what twenty or thirty more? I mean, like you know, half dozen at least. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Keller. Hi, Saint. <laughs> Jamie. What are you yeah. holding, Jamie? What are you holding? Isn't it cute. Um, so cute. So this is a deck that I found. It's a Seattle artist, and it's when. So if you notice, there's a theme in my decks right now, uh, but there's a, a muralist in Seattle and he will paint the outside of your business or your house or whatever. If you commission him, he'll do it. And I found this deck and it's called Radical Abundance and his name is Henry. <laughs> and um, anyway, they are the most charming absolutely adorable creatures and this is how his art is even when he paints on your house or your business um they oh my god are and their quality um yeah. and gerald actually talked to henry's dad and um they actually show um gerald's flip through of this um to sell it um, but he's an artist in Seattle and this is like nice cardstock and, and everything The the man has nothing to do with, div, you know, divine anything, but, um, it's he knocked it out of the park Lisa. when he did Thanks. this. <laughs> okay, just, I'm just yeah. opening tabs. It doesn't mean anything yet. I'm just I opening tabs. Really understand. Well, it, okay. oh my God, that's really cool. So this is one that I say purchase. <coughs> I'm not going to put the responsibility behind. It. <laughs> it's it's, okay, it's is very so affordable. Fun. Yeah. It's very have, you, have either of you paired this? Have you prepared this with anything? Because I almost feel like it would go cute next to Monstero or like. It does. Oh, it could. Yeah. It does. Mm. Yeah, it does. Um, well, actually, I've paired this with everything, even the serious <laughs> decks. Yeah. It doesn't ship to Canada, Moira says. It doesn't ship to Canada? We can make things happen. I was going to say, sorry. If it's I have connections. Things, yeah, you have it's connections. Please. If yeah. we need to get it to Canada, we will get it to Canada. <laughs> we'll get it to and Canada. If, I, if I understand Canada. correctly, through regular post. I think I've learned how to ship to Canada because of Peggy. So I got it. Yes. Anyway, Amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, and Jamie and I, we did, we both got ours and we did a, we did a live um, opening. But nobody it. came to because. What? Did nobody come. Because he put the wrong time or date or something. And so we were just live in the middle of the night, all by ourselves. And we had a blast. Oh, no. We had a blast. Oh, because, no. because what's That's wonderful. Like slumber party vibes though. Yes. Yeah. But it was what's fantastic. Wonderful, is is you can link it together you know we made sentences like, we made sentences access strength um for companionship and uh, because that is inspiration for fluidity, fluidity mm-hmm. leads wow. to 
I freaking love this. Mm-hmm. That's so yeah. cute. That is right on my alley, y'all. We, yeah, we, we had, we had, a, we had a blast. Yes, it was, yeah, really it was fun. It yeah. was fun. And then the video finally showed up. So. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, Madame Maru says it's a great video to watch. Yeah. So, yes. And um, it does sit there. I even use that one for um, caffeinated and unfiltered readings. Mm-hmm. So, nice. So, um, and by That's the awesome. way, the Align Heart Affirmations deck fine has been successful. Yay. Yay. So, it, Yay. is it still uh, running? Is the Kickstarter still ongoing? It just like was funded have- on Monday. Monday. Uh, oh, so cool. It, so, yeah. And- I love this little deck. It's been like everything. I literally don't ever even, I don't even put it in a bag and hang it up. Like it's always just on my table or near my table. Always. So good. So good. By the way, hello, Patrice. Great to see you. Um, Hi, Patrice. I feel like the Shadow of the Crone is another underrated one for healing. I've had some pretty powerful experiences with that one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Opening tabs is the first step to enlightenment or bankruptcy. I mean, um, so, tab opening is is great. It's my favorite method. Yes, and we we were having a blast. Yeah, we didn't need an audience for that. Okay, so another healing deck that I have, since it's I think it's my turn, is um, this is out of print. It is the Jamie Sawyer out of hand, mm-hmm. and. This is uh, this is a, a deck is absolutely beautiful this. because the images you are in the cards. You these are your hands, um, or you're watching the person who's doing the Eight of Pentacles. It really brings um, an interesting level for me as it relates to healing. It gets me in into it. It gets my hands dirty, mm. and mm-hmm. it's it reminds me that. I need to go be creative and create my own world. And Jamie has it as well. <laughs> yeah. And, and so it's, it's so, and, and as it's healing, it's one of these things that it, it, it gently reminds me that I am part of this, what I'm doing and yeah. what I do can change things. So, yes. So, yeah. And so I, I like I can that. totally see that. I like that's that. a good one. Yeah. That's what I like about the um what's the other the deck that I have that does that is the Tarot of Oneness. It puts you in the card and it's very unique in the way it just pulls you. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in both sizes, y'all. Mm-hmm. I have both. Mm-hmm. I use both. Oh. <laughs> Peggy sneezing. Peggy sneezing. Oh uh-huh. she's loud when she sneezes. Very, very loud. Oh goodness. One, two, three. <laughs> Do we need moist and again? No. It's just that it's a combination of like she sneezes, but we also sort of kind of intentionally taught the dog to howl whenever she sneezes because we thought that was really cute. You so, were the one that taught them how to howl. Don't even. So I taught them to howl. I taught him to howl because I thought it was funny. And so when she starts sneezing, he starts howling, and then he wants a treat, and that's the, that's that's what we do. Um, we turn sneezing into a bit of an event, and it's it's fun. I love me. it. Now it's your problem to deal with. Yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, I mean, the terror of oneness is one that um, I actually have on my stack. So, and yeah. um, Robin uh, was um, joined Jamie, uh, Richie, and I to talk about this, and. Robin is coming on the last Monday in April to do uh, tarot readings with us for the Beltane, Beltane readings for Longstash. She is the nicest person. So, truly. Yes. The nicest person. She has the, the most lovely energy. I know I've, mm-hmm. I've been lucky to speak with her a few times and she's been wonderful, very supportive and loving. Yeah. yeah I love her deck and I love what she does. Yeah. yeah. Highly, highly, highly fangirl about her stuff for sure absolutely yeah yeah lisa would you like to show another one yeah always go for it whip it out so this is he says whip it out this is a combo this is my um oh hello i've got to unmix them here we go um it's the um wisdom of the shadow and the wisdom of the divine feminine and for me these function as a pair yeah, 
They function as a pair. If you see the video I did with this, like they blew me away and they continue to function exactly like that for me. Or what I will do is I will shuffle and I'll draw. And I, the way I work with them is, is sort of like shadow solution kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. what do you need? So I will pull, okay, the shadow card might be intrusion. Mm -hmm. And then what is the solution? Devotion. And when mm -hmm. you look at the way they go together mm -hmm. and you like, look at even, it, it always, it always works. Yep. It always works. If you're struggling with boundaries and then the solution from the divine feminine is trust. Like, mm -hmm. look at that. It's incredible. I have never had a pair, even if they're by the same creator, ever work this powerfully and have such a clear purpose for me. When I pull this pair out, it's like I'm struggling or I want to do some work. I can pull out and just draw one from each and have the most profound reading that I can then sit with, journal, meditate look at the cards for a while and just get these incredible like metamorphosis and then expectations like or i did that backwards <laughs> but like unreal never ever have i had anything quite like it it's yeah. it's it's wild so these are these are amazing and i don't think like i said i don't think there's anything else quite like them and no. they are not something at all that i was drawn to initially from just the art work at first glance mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they're both, yeah, the artist and the creator, both beautiful, beautiful people with incredible souls and just, yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love, love, love these. And they, they're, they're something that I could see having a place for forever. I don't, I've never had, yeah, it's, yeah, incredible. Incredible. Yeah, and, um, and I remember Patrice, um, I don't remember, but Patrice was like, um, um, backer number one or something like that yeah. or one really? of them, because yeah I think um because I think Patrice do you know these people I think it feels like that like I've met them oh. I haven't met them and um oh and look Michelle Marie is there's our um unboxing and interview with Robin hmm. um yeah oh and Shelly oh, says I these used are the words of the year. my words of the year oh that's good it's the best idea. These would be so good for that. Yes, yes. These would be so good for that. Yeah. Damn. So you, damn. <laughs> so you do a word of the year? Um, I have. I didn't do one this year, um, but I've definitely done it. I've done it. I've probably done it five or six years, maybe not back to back. Mm hmm And it's a, it's a powerful practice. I, I have to be very mindful about it because I can... Um, I have to be mindful with any kind of uh, practices where I do in advance because I can get over attached or box myself into something. Like, have you ever done that where you like draw, like say a card, you do a year ahead spread and then you're, whatever that month's card is, you're like hung up on it. Like it kind of, you get stuck in it. That's what I can do. So I have to be careful with word of the year. It has to definitely move me in a very intentional growth direction, but it's a cool practice for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah. two points for Beth. It's an epiphany. <laughs> nice epiphany. and um, yeah yeah and so and zane said it too oh. epiphany's <laughs> happening tonight a lot of them so and uh yeah and patrice yeah jessica is oh, local she lives in your yeah. area yep big supporter of their deck nice yes 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 yeah. so yeah jamie what do really you really cool you? um i have this beautiful cute little bag that's all of Oregon and the Pacific Northwest. And it's oh, I love it. for me. And I love it. And it goes with the Pacific Northwest tarot. Um, I love that deck. Yeah. So this is this is a home. This is a home deck. This is yeah. one that yeah, that is loud, um, but never grumpy. Um mm. I have a story with a, a big spider, um, and that's why I love this card. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a Aww. yeah. This is one where you can take it to those sacred places, um, yep. and do readings. So, like Wizard Island for me at Crater Lake is some place that this would go. Um, yeah. Wow. You know outside the guidebook for that deck blew me away like it's because he writes it like you're in the story like you're mm -hmm. yeah. in it like it's uh, it's it's really cool mm -hmm. yeah such a piece and of i love the cardstock 
it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that matte lamination that we all love, like the buttery. Yeah, it's yeah. blue core kind of, but I mean, it's just divine, you know? So good. Yeah. It's a happy. <laughs> um, and the shadow moon witch said, I need that bag, um, but Washington. The P and yeah. Taro is a home deck for me too. I'm from Washington, uh, but now live in Minnesota. I pull this deck out when I'm homesick. Mm -hmm. It was pretty, mm -hmm. uh, pretty all the time. So what's Aww. the interesting thing is that this was found up at Crater Lake at the lodge. And they had this huge display of Lewis and Clark and Oregon and the Pacific Northwest and everything. And there was this beautiful, beautiful needlepoint pillow that was like this that I wanted so badly until I picked that fucker up and it was $265. And then my husband saw this cute little bag and he says, don't you have a deck that would go with this? And Aww. I said, why, yes, I do. And this was a gift from him. Oh, I love that. Love stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this deck though. So, okay, so everybody, we are talking about, what was that, Jamie? Go ahead, sorry. Sorry, just how adorable. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, you were talking about that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and, 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 and here's the thing that I am understanding is, is that um, what's really beautiful is, is we're having, we have this sense of joy when we're talking about the decks that are healing for us. And I think that's an important part. There's joy in it, even though it's hard work. Well, there's joy in it. And when it's hard work, that joy of having this tool is really, uh, it makes it even more powerful. So totally. it's one of those things that it's just like, okay. Um, and, yeah, and, and recognizing the hard work that we're doing mm -hmm. is important. Absolutely. So yeah. Yep. So Jamie's husband oh, gets a star for that gem. Oh yeah. Yeah. He gets lots of gold stars. He's sweet. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm going to be respectful of time. We're at an hour and a half. One of the decks that is healing for me is it's healing because of the way it was made. Um, and it's the Robin Wood tarot. Oh, and, I love um, that. Yeah. People have heard me talk about this. The Rob the my personal Robin Wood tarot, actually I have, I have two, but is made up out of three different decks. Myself and two friends put our energies into it. We worked uh, with it for a full uh, moon cycle and then we studied it. And then we actually went into circle, into ritual, and we combined all of those decks a big wash in the center of the ritual space and then pulled out oh. cards to make our own deck. So this is healing because of all of the powerful energy that is in it. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's such a beautiful practice to do. Yeah. So, so amazing. So I think this is one of those things that, um, this is one of those things that sometimes the healing isn't just the deck. It's the mm -hmm. energy that is around it. Someone has given it to me. Um, mm -hmm. I did use this with friends of mine, and um, you know, and and I'm I'm going to flex. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, this is. I bought my Robin Wood deck from Robin Wood, and she signed Ooh. the book. Oh, uh, I have. Um, I have uh, a, her. Have you ever read her When Why If book? I love that book because, and that's one of the things that I was actually going, I was like going, you know, what I need to do is, is I'd love to have a book discussion about that online. I would love that. Yeah. It's a, it's a really, it's, it's a hidden gem and I don't know, can you still get it? Do you know if it's still in print? Um, You can find There's a lot of used copies for sale on the yeah. Zama. So yeah. I think my copy is signed of that, but I can't remember when or how I just, yeah, I must've met her at some point. Like went to a book signing event or something and just don't remember because I had that book when I was like 19, 20 years old or whatever. Like I've had that book forever. 
Yeah. So, um, so, and, so I, I, I share that really because healing isn't just the images of the card. So it's the energy that goes into it and mm -hmm. energy that you, it, it's an exchange for yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the idea of healing, healing is, it, it takes a lot of work. It's that an does. energy exchange. So, um, and, and I think that's important. Yes, Calla Lizzie, you'll be seeing that shortly. <laughs> but yeah, so, all right. Lisa, what do you have? Emotional baggage. That's what I have. Really? <laughs> Hello, sister. <laughs> yeah. We do share more. I love this. This was sent to me by the creator of the Reclaim Oracle. Nice. A little patch. So I had Peggy sew it onto my desk. It's like a little suitcase that says emotional baggage. Um, this is such a incredibly unique and powerful deck. Um, this is the deck that can help you, uh, help, helps me specifically, I should say, to name emotions or to look at them good, bad, or neutral. Like to look at the difficult stuff. And there's something about, I did not, when I first saw this, I was like, that art style, it's all monochromatic. It's just this like pink, this putty pink resilience is that resilience oh my god my eyes okay curiosity but, the, but yeah. the way that the artwork actually shows what these feel like what these like closure like the way that it actually shows what those emotions look like control it's just incredible again there's nothing else quite like it and but this is a very confronting deck it's definitely one that i would not recommend just whipping out willy-nilly you know what i mean like pull it out when you're in a space for it or if you want to unpack some emotions or you want to think about what each of these means to you or to reflect on a memory of feeling that way and like use it as a tool for learning i do not pull this i don't pair this with anything um i may have paired it occasionally but i don't think so i usually just pull this out by itself and it's hope. It's so good. Does this is the have, first edition. It's changed. Does she have a, another tarot deck? The Lilifer tarot. Oh, okay. That's not what I was thinking. Okay. Different art. Yeah, right. she's got the Lilifer, but it doesn't. Um, this is called yes. Disconnection. Um, yeah, this is this is a very, very powerful deck. Um, I couldn't bond with Lilifer, but I love this deck. I am a huge fan. So, so, so good blame like the finger pointing it's yeah that's cool. it's really good yeah it's very very good um and it's got so many cards that the first edition has i don't does it say on here i don't know if it says on here it has a lot and i believe it's bigger now i think the newer editions have more cards wow. so oh wow yeah okay. love that yeah, it's a really really good one but what if you were always whole it says on the side of the box mm. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't know what to do with ourselves if that were the case. Right? I mean, really. Very, very, very good. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I'm going to pop this up here because Beth had posted this question a little bit back. Question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that if the deck creator is going through the same type of painful experience trauma and the deck is their healing modality, that the healing comes through differently to us? Hmm. I don't know the answer to that. So, I feel like I feel like Kimberly Sand talked about this one coming out of her own sort of dark night of the soul, but I don't think about her or her experiences when I'm working with it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm being too literal with the question, but I I don't know. I feel like decks that come out of real experience or passion for a topic or whether it's pain or joy or whatever is going to hit for me more powerfully than oh, let's just do a deck about butterflies or whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like it's got more potency when it comes from a, a really real place. But I think mm -hmm. a lot of decks come from that place. So, yeah, I don't know. That's a tricky one. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, Sarah said that I that agree. deck that you just had made her cry in the best um, hug the inner kiddo way. Mm. The reclaim? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's not it. I, I see here, here here's some... Um, I do have an opinion about this, so don't come for me, YouTube, but come for me. It's okay. I've got a fan. I'm not afraid to use it. I'm not afraid to use it. And I have tiny hands to slap you away. Um, if the creator 
has gone through a similar thing. And again, uh, you know, for entertainment purposes only, if the creator has gone through their experience that's similar to yours and they have created, um, they have put the energy of the healing process into the cards and the images, I think that could be very powerful. But if it's just a capture of that, of the trauma or the, or the, yeah, that's where I'm, I'm concerned. I think that is where a well-written guidebook would be extremely helpful because of mm -hmm. the essence of, uh, for me, a healing deck is, I see you, here's how I got through. And you might consider that. Yeah. Yes, so. I completely agree with that. I think that there's certain types of creation that some of us might do when we're in a purging process where we're purging our pain or we're purging our trauma, mm -hmm. purging that into something. I'm not sure how I feel about that energy being passed forward. If, like you said, Gerald, if it's like you're, pu if you're putting your healing process through, that can be something that can be really powerful and of service. But if you're just purging and creating something out of that pain, it may help somebody be seen. I'm not going to say it's not going to be helpful, but for me, I would struggle a little bit more with that energy. And uh, Beth, um, I didn't mean you actually think of the creator. Rather, if the deck is about, say, lack of self-worth, does mm -hmm. that get through? The little sister about the loss of a family member, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and Beth, I, I think she, I, I got it. So mm -hmm. um, again, the best chatters are bringing it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, did you want to add anything to that? No. Okay. <laughs> um, Jamie, is it your turn to share? Um, yes. So help me choose. Big little green, and it doesn't matter, just go with the words. Big little green, Peggy, or animals. Peggy. Peggy. Okay. Always Peggy. It's always Peggy. <laughs> I, this is a Peggy. This was one of her first um, deck and book bag things that you could put. You could Peggy. do a, sorry, a layout and you can fit the book and the deck and pins and everything. And I'm a coffee freak. So um, that's how we got Peggy. So uh, this is a long story one, but um, Gerald knows the story. So I was taught to meditate by um, a, a psychic who's very, very popular now or was super, super popular late 90s, early, early 2000s, um, John Edward. And um, one of the things that he talks about is for you to um, visualize that space in which you go and concentrate on the sounds and the textures and all of the things. And so I always talked mm -hmm. about, um, I just thought Jamie meant the deck, not the bag. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, it just had to get us there. I couldn't choose. Um, it, so when I came across this deck, um, the description of the Hall of Beginnings is the place in which for over oh, 20 some odd years, that is my place to go. I see mm -hmm. it's kind of a desert, deserty, it's weird, desert beach, okay, with um, an archway and a hall to go into and a big huge window to look out but i can always hear i always have on the same kind of sandals and i'm not a sandal wearer but the, the sandals that wrap around your calf and i can hear the sand um kind of grind underneath the leather of the sandals as i go up the stairs into the hall of beginnings to go and look out the window and it's always the same i look out the window so this the ocean's in front of me and i look out the window and there I can see far down the beach, a person coming towards me. And I know that I'm waiting for that person to get to me. Yeah. And I finally leave the hall of beginnings and I go down a staircase to the beach to meet this person, to sit in the sand 
and we watch the sunset. Okay. So no, girl, I, I know that's incredible. That's a big build up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm like, I love this story. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the Thoth journey, the Oracle of change. Um, and I don't know this deck. The it's, um, yeah, it's so funny. I have all my notes Two one of 23 with Gerald. Gerald and I studied this deck yep. and we went through this book. The book is, is beautiful. Um, it really is. Uh, I mean, look at that. What is this? Yeah. The <laughs> Oracle of change, but it's the yeah, thought. thought. I'm so confused. Is it thought journey? It's a, it's a tarot deck thought journey the oracle of change is and this based on the thoth tarot um somewhat yes yeah yeah and um what? it's it, yeah so the air of night so but she talks about the hall of beginnings now this is a different room but uh you start Beautiful. out in the hall so here this is a very well-loved page, but you walk into the hall of beginnings and you always, at the end of every reading, you come back to the hall. Um, and so this is one of those, um, the fire prints. Um, I'm showing this because it shows up better than the cards. So the cards are, this is the door to the, um, to the hall. And then all the different cards and this is so cool it is a difficult deck i will not lie it is a the the artwork you have to really invest the time i mean look at that of course it's out of print of course yeah and yeah i was just like going, uh, but there's uh, there's an aquarius version which is the one that's out of print oh no shit um according to what i'm seeing from seed press Okay. Wait, I saw this. I saw this hit Kickstarter and I was like mm -hmm. on the fence and then I didn't get it like an idiot. You should, you, no, damn no, it. no, 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 none of this. Don't beat oh. yourself up. Based I'm on the book real. alone, it would be up your alley. Um, yeah. Because. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely not, no pun intended. It's definitely a journey. You definitely walk. So this would be one of those decks that's not um the happy happy joy joy and look my cheeks get pink talking mm -hmm. about it um oh it's my God. um somewhat difficult but um still embracing and look at that always coming back to the hollow beginnings um and since it was that place i mean i i i will be blunt very, very blunt. So sorry, people bleep me out. I was so fucking flabbergasted when I read in the beginning of the book about the Hall of Beginnings and that it matched the place in which I have gone to meditate for years. That it, I was, that my mind was blown. It's still blown to this day when I look at this deck. But yeah, this is, this is one of those healing kind of things, but it's interesting because one of the questions um, that Gerald had asked is what do you do with the deck once you've done this healing? Now, of course, I have said, and I will always maintain, I will always have my baggage. It's just a how, how is it um, cased? How is it taken care of? How, how do yeah. I feel differently yeah. with the world, right? Because I've gone through the things. Well, we went through the things going through this deck. Good. And Good. and um, honestly, even though when I touch this and I look at it and I feel the pages and the stories are on amazing and beautiful and lyrical, um, I have not picked this up. I have not looked at it yeah. since we finished it. Hmm. Interesting. Lisa is That's still looking at the at the links Listen. That I put in because, and I'm just I'm supporting you. I'm supporting you, but <laughs> I, but you know to Jamie's point that that's something that we think about is just like, what do you do when 
when you've the the deck is no longer part of your immediate journey what do you do with it mm -hmm. and um yeah i keep it housed and i give it grace that's what i do i do yeah yeah <laughs> not me furiously going to the checkout page it's fine <laughs> it's fine they might have more than actually they have more than one they, they better have more than one y'all if you're buying my copy right now <laughs> Yeah, I have the Aquarius version the, without the book. Well, and what I put in was the the Thoth Journey Shadow Work Bundle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so it has the book with it. Is that just the regular book? It looks like the regular book. It's the deck and book bundle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have the book with the stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because the stories are mm -hmm. really beautiful. Mm hmm Well, mm -hmm. here you go. Recognize Agreed. baggage, accept baggage, let it let go of self uh, recrimination about the baggage. Well, I, yep. I tell you, Beth, this will be like one of those two personal comments for the internet, but I'll say it anyway. You know, when you're having deep discussions with people and, and we've had with the clinic, we've had some like horrible shit go down yeah. and, you know, and in having conversations with my husband, you know, um, I kind of take a step back and I'm like, hold up a second. I just stepped into my baggage like nobody's business. Let me take a break. <laughs> let me, mm -hmm. let me, let me, um, you know, blah, 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 take it all back. <laughs> let me yeah. think about this for a second. Yep. And okay, once yep. I have realized that it's not the person standing in front of me or the person standing next to me or my business partner or anything else, that's mm -hmm. my shit that I just stepped into, yep. Yep. right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and that deck would be one of those ones that it's like, whoo, we, hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And, and because I did ask that question, what do you do, you know, and Lightfoot, I save my decks. I come back around too often to let them go. Oh, yeah, I'll never mm -hmm. let that one go. And um, Alla Lizzie is like, maybe you'll want to use it again in 20 years. And, and you yeah. don't know. I very rarely uh, remove a deck from my collection. If it's a healing deck, I I will um, I will ceremoniously ceremoniously ceremonially I will actually um, put it back in order, put it back in the box because I do keep the boxes or their special bag, and I will give it a place of honor in in the in the library of Gerald. So. Mm -hmm. And I and think that's I, part of I'll it. I'll tell you, I'll be close to 80 in 20 years. So <laughs> maybe. And um, by yeah. the way, Hershey, the shadow reader, is here. And um, and she was. She's pretty cool. Hello. Hello. So what do you do with the deck when you've finished using it for that part of your healing work? Or do you ever finish with or it? Do you finish? Well, okay. Yeah, I actually read this question. I was like, wait, people are done. People get done. <laughs> I, yeah. And I think that's the thing. But I do think there's certainly decks that I've worked with where I, I've said that that I feel like some decks come into my life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, right? Like, mm -hmm. so if if it comes in for a reason to help me process a particular thing, sometimes that reason, once it's fulfilled. I'm good. I don't need that deck anymore. And mm -hmm. that is a type of healing. There was a deck that came in to my life when my dad passed away and I, it was perfect for that season. It was exactly what I needed and I worked with it. But then once that period of time was over and I was looking at it as just a deck, I was like, Oh, this is, I get nothing. So that's, it that's, shifted. A, that's mm -hmm. a really powerful point when it goes yeah. from, from, something that had so much power and energy to help you to oh this is a deck and um robert hello robert said i act as a matchmaker and hook up decks with people that need it mm -hmm. so. yeah you know one of the things you said lisa was about you know thinking about the question and it's like you know people you know fix the things or whatever and it's like i think for me it's not that i've necessarily um fixed anything it's just i've rectified part of the things yeah 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 and it's and it's a movement forward right and so now yes. i've come back to like i said that was like the serious side so now i've come back to that okay i need bright colors and unicorns and joy and light got and, you 
yeah exactly exactly so you know yeah. hence chair of oneness you know stuff like yes. that yeah color it's it's true that there's things that like i i mean i i joke because i used to ask myself that question will i ever just be done because sometimes it's tiring mm -hmm. working on shit a lot right and mm -hmm. for, and i and you have those moments where you're like gosh i just i'd like to be done now but the thing yeah. is is that i feel like for me that that moment of doneness accepting that that's not coming that that's not the point that the point is the practice and the journey has been really really helpful for me but absolutely there are experiences where we move through a portion of something or we move through a stage of something and we're ready for something different or we're ready to move into a different energy we're like this energy isn't serving me right now this served me then mm -hmm. and that's what i meant by that deck that with my when my dad died it was like that was the perfect deck for that that time yep, and absolutely. absolutely when i get to that point i would move forward i i, I would say the only deck that's the only one I can think of, though, where once it was done, it just fell flat. It was like pieces of cardboard. There was nothing there. It was like I had sucked all the energy out of it or something. Um, but usually, once a period of intensity with it, with that I, of work that I'm doing with the deck is over, it just kind of becomes part of my toolbox. Just mm -hmm. I'm not using that particular hammer a lot anymore. I'm just using yep. it sometimes now. You got it. <laughs> so, you got it. Yeah. You got it. I like what Beth says. Well, we do hit plateaus where we can rest, no? Or maybe Absolutely. that's just me. No, it's not just you. Absolutely. <laughs> no, not just you at all. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. Um, well, we are at an hour and 57 minutes. It does not feel okay. like that long. No, uh, it went by so fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has been great. And we only broke Lisa, what, two or three times? Only so, oh. <laughs> do better next time. Oh, Ooh, we got a Jelly next time out of her. Damn, like I got you. Mm. I will totally <laughs> have it. Like, totally have it. Oh, time. hold up. Yes. Hold up. What? Hold up. Deck casual over somebody's little deck that comes out in. What are you talking about? Holy shit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at is, that. She has been sitting there that whole evening. Hey, okay. Oh. So I don't know how you feel about this, but that's just a shitty move. Shitty move. When you put out your video showing, I'm like, this is just really shitty. And, but I couldn't put a comment in because I knew if other people would take it wrong. I knew that you would probably take it in the right vein. But it's like the rest of the world be, be like gang up on Jamie and that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that'd be dangerous. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh my God. That would be funny though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deck casual. I'm telling you. It's like I was ready or something. Or something. It's literally the only thing in my brain. I have no space in here. It's all been crowded out. You know, I remember, no. when, I remember when Kelly was working on um, uh, Nellie's deck and I was going through an astrological crisis and oh, um, yeah, she yeah. was willing to help this much because she only had this much brain left because everything else was over here working on the guidebook. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. The guidebook is like, um, it's a whole, it's a whole, it's like, it's a fully separate project. It's, oh, yeah. I don't think anybody understands. <laughs> the guidebook is a whole separate project and like from mm -hmm. writing it to laying it out and designing it. And like, it's a whole it's so much more than you could ever, <laughs> than oh, yeah. I ever imagined. Yeah. So amazing. This and, is so uh, much fun, uh, y'all. Michelle Russell said it was great to meet you, um, Gerald and Jamie. Um, and of course, of, of course, um, Tom is saying, is it any worse than showing an out of print um, right, Tom. Um, deck, Jamie? And I'm like, I, I apologize. Um, yeah, I'm like going, well, okay. It could be the one that she's teasing you with that nobody has yet and won't have for a little bit. Hello. Coming. Coming so soon. <laughs> yeah. Unless it takes part of bombs and then, I mean, who knows? No, it won't bomb. Oh, shut up. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Knock on some wood. Okay, hold no, up. Fine. Hold up. Hold up. No, wait. Here. Here. This is my tiny hand to you. Okay? I'm just joking. God. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's just That's terrifying. Right. It's gonna be great though. God. See, even my little fuggler is sitting here and he says oh, it's shit. gonna be great. He says it's gonna oh, be great. Teeth. What is that? Is that an ugly doll? What is that? Why does he's he have a teeth? Fuggler. He's my friend. He's a what? <laughs> yeah, fuggler. A fuggler? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it have teeth, Jamie? He's got he's 
got him some teefies. <laughs> and I have two more, just so you know. Oh, oh my, my no. camera broke. Okay. All right. Here, here. I have something for this. This section of the video is brought to you by the word cockamamie. Everyone say it with me. Cockamamie. Cockamamie. Ridiculous. Incredible. Leave your cockamamie excuses behind and like, share, and subscribe to our channels. Cockamamie. I, what secret accent? Oh my god! Wait a minute, oh wait a minute. I have to do that. There you go. The one with the tongue. Are you kidding me? The teeth are so creepy. Okay, that one's teeth are kind of creepy. Later. Kinda. Later. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about stuffies with teeth. I I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god! I love it's, them. It's the, this is the whole thing. Awesome. Like this is the whole thing. This, this is the whole thing, thing right? Yeah, yeah. This is hilarious. Um, uh, watch yes. them to open another search tab. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it was so, is that my tiny hands? I think that's my tiny hands. I don't like it. It's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> I oh, love no. him. <sighs> oh, okay. He's Canada. called the nightmare teddy bear. That's the funny thing. Uh, that's accurate. Hashtag accurate AF. Um, hashtag you're welcome. I'm here to I guess I deserved that for flashing my, my deck. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's horrible. There we Y'all go. Need, needs needs some upgrading. <laughs> Updating. Uh, right. <laughs> All right. So seriously, would you give people an update on this little project that you just started last weekend? You know, right? <laughs> This out of my ass. It's just just came out of nowhere. Um, yes, we are launching it live on Saturday in three mm -hmm. more sleeps, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, three more three, sleeps. Three more sleeps. Three more sleeps. Um, I'm gonna have a live launch party on my channel. I'm gonna try to be on no later than 10. I'm gonna try to hit the button to make the campaign live no later than 10 30. That's the goal. Um and we're just going to watch what happens. We're just going to see what happens. But I have everything done that I can possibly have done at this stage. So with any luck, campaign funds, it's wild, it's cool. And then hopefully I can send files off to printer not long after the close of the campaign. So things will move along hopefully very quickly after the campaign. But it how, is many time, so. how many days how are many you days running it? Campaign? Mm -hmm. Oh, 30. 30 you days. You do 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll end on May 20th. There? Purchase I made a video, y'all. The video no. I made for this was the hardest video I have ever. I've I've never worked so hard on a one minute video. Of my life. Oh, I bet. But I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. Yes. And I'm working yes. on the Unicorns Journey Oracle for next spring. So it's in progress. We already have art rolling in. Like we're working on it now. That's fantastic. So I'm excited. Thanks. Yeah, and um, it's going to fun. Don't don't argue with Trisha. Don't no, do it. I will Don't not argue, argue with you. I'll I know take my, my shears to you. Yeah. yeah. Sheared just oh, like yeah. me. Pacific time. So thank you so much, Tom. Yeah, Pacific time. Pacific time. In fact, I was specifically warned about that by an astrologer because we're in Mercury retrograde. She's like, watch the time zones. That's where mm -hmm. the mix-ups could happen. I'm like, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm really, really excited. Really I, excited. I I'm totally an overachiever. Uh, by not putting up the overachiever sign that she's, you know, <laughs> money already ready. There you go. So excited. I cannot, I like Peggy's like, you're not going to sleep Friday night. She's like, you're going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like Christmas. Like it's a whole thing. Oh, yes. And, and seriously, we do mean seriously. this. We do mm -hmm. mean this because there's nothing worse than um you know i mean there's there's a lot of things that can be very healing things like a roof over your head food in 1, your body. so yep. do know your limits purchase responsibly yep. 
Um, and we've had a lot of fun talking about this stuff. Um, yeah. And I think it's one of those things that um, when we're looking at healing decks, I really encourage everybody to think about and consider what it is they're working on and then look around you with what you already have. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm a per, I mean, you, you do stuff, Lisa, where you're like, on, you know, this or that. And do I need that? I think this is one mm -hmm. of the, I think it's one of those things. Um, and uh, eventually I'll be doing a show about the, the toolbox that we have to help us. Um, yes. Because we have these tools and when we go through those plateaus and when we're feeling uh, well equipped, we're good at certain things. And mm -hmm. then we're, when we're not feeling well equip equipped, we forget what's available. That's and, right. and so um, I think, you know, look around you and, and heaven forbid, go to the dollar store, buy yourself some little cheap ass, excuse me, inexpensive pieces of card stock, you know, index cards and write on there the things that you're looking for because yep. it's your intention that really, really matters. So I will, yep. I'm going to jump in there just really super fast because I should have pulled this out as one of the, the healing things, but um, two of my most favorite decks have been made by myself. Um, one was my own Lenormand made out of Alice in Wonderland playing cards in which I sanded them, painted them, stamped on them, used Sharpie, and I still love it more than any Lenormand deck that I have. And then I made a stupid sticker deck um, that is just the most wonderful little thing on the planet. And That's it's so cute stickers. And then I um, used Mod Podge to go over the top of them so that they, you know, would stay better. And I know I, you can't see shit with this camera or my lighting, but you know, it, the best damn it. thing I ever did was making my own yeah. thing. So I highly recommend it, especially it's a nice, um, it's a nice healing project too. So yeah, you know, from the index card point, like I had, I remember going through a period of time where I was really needing to work on my self-worth and I would write things like you are loved, you're safe, like all these kinds of things. And I would, I literally on index cards, just taped them with a little bit of painter's tape up on my wall. And mm -hmm. I would see them every day when I went into my bedroom and le or left my bedroom and those kinds of things you can do from stuff just around your house and can be so incredibly powerful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. My my mom, I will just tell you this really quick. My mom used to write with um, eyeliner on my mirror, little things. And of course, the, you know, the one of the most common things that people say now is you are enough. But that yeah. was always written on my mirror in, oh. in black eyeliner. You are enough. Do you remember that show, um, uh, the movie, What the Bleep Do You Know? Do we know? Mm -hmm. uh, Where we that's best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, um, the, the Dr. Morimoto, the, the messages in water, mm -hmm. one of the things that I did was, was inspired by that movie. I used to write on my feet messages to myself to help me remember to ground. Oh, I love that. And, um, you know, they were in my shoes. Nobody needed to see them. And I would use, I would use a permanent marker. And um, I was seeing a massage therapist at the time who <laughs> I had forgotten that she was, and I was writing them on the bottom of my feet. And she's like, going, what is this? And I, so I explained it to her and she's like, going, that is really powerful. And I'm like, going, it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Lisa, yeah. thank you very much for joining us. I hope uh, thank you for having we can me. have you back. You know. Yeah, I would love to come back. Yeah. I need to learn more words of the day. Like, I feel like at this point, it's important for my education. <laughs> <laughs> I have got, I've got so many digital words and all that stuff. And I've got it down to a science now to where I can whip them through. So, okay. How many? I want to, I want to, I want to look at your list. Like, I want to know. I'm such a nosy girl. I'm like, how many of these did you do? Because, first of all, they're very entertaining. 
A um, lot. And informative. <laughs> a lot. I uh, Yeah, I could actually show you the list uh, when we're done. I'm not going to share all of that with everybody, but, you know, oh, because I want people, I, I, it is top secret. I want people to come back and see it. You know, it's the stuff that it's it's the stuff that the uh, the best chatters experience. And the best workers they experience. I love it. Yeah, yeah. No spoilers. Actually, it's probably it's best to be surprised. It's best to be surprised because now I'm going to be watching for them. <laughs> well, your pants were shocked off. That's for sure. I, 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 did, I did not see it coming. I had no idea. And I think my next live that I'm hosting is on Friday, so I better I better do something about that. And you know, but I have some of the standards that I use just to tick Jamie off. Uh-huh. Thanks. Oh, perfect. I love that. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Hang out for a second, Lisa, and we will catch up. Everyone, thank you so very much for being here. You all are incredible, and I appreciate it. So let me find the... Here we go. Bye. Bye.